Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to show you how I organize my pads. This isn't my full stash, it's most of my stash though. Um, and a lot of them have, I have a lot of tree huggers, I'm realizing. And so I might be destashing some of them soon because anyone who's never been to Maryland, we have the coldest winters and the hottest summers, literally. Like, it's insane. <laughs> so um, I'm just getting a little worried about this summer. It might be a little hot with the minkies. So there are definitely some brands that I'm going to be ordering from more and then hopefully de-stashing and selling some on Facebook. So here we go. Again, this isn't my whole stash. I'm going to be doing a um, full stash video where I kind of talk about each pad. So this is just a quick little video. So right here, this is my full, my, my, I'm sorry, my heavy to um, overnights. If you can see, I'm sorry if the lighting isn't too good. Um, so starting here, these are like my shorter, heavier pads. So this is a pink lemonade. Then then all of these are Dancing Ant Designs. Some of these I haven't even tried out yet. Um, this is Little Bee Creations. Um, this is from Karma. She sent that for me to me for free. Thank you, Karma. And then these are all my tree hugger. I know I need to like get rid of some because I have too many. Um, but I do like them, and, um, and so they're good pads. I just, I'm kind of ready to branch out a little bit, so, and somebody else can enjoy them as well. Then we have two pink lemonade shops. These are 11 inches. Um, then I have, these are more of my overnights. Um, my little doppers is an overnight. And then, um, these are from an eBay seller. These are 11 inches in a cotton. Actually, I think they're flannel. And then this is Cloth Creations, Sting and Kenny. And then these are all of my Tree Hugger overnights. I know, it's bad. Tree Hugger was like the first company that I came across, and I thought, oh, there's nothing better. But then I realized that there really is a lot out there. Okay, and then these are my light, moderate, and panty liners. I'm going to start working on getting more of these because I do use these a lot. So these are my moderates. This is a Hello Ant Flow. This is hand sewn by me. I have another one that's actually down here. These are the ones I'm packing because I'm staying the night. Um, so I'll just show you these real quick. This, this is my other hand sewn by me. And then this one, these are panty liners. I'll show you those in a sec. Um, two Ding and Kenny's Hello Ant Flow. I love that pattern. So cute. This is Cloth Creations. This is the skull print. And then these are all of my tree hugger. Again, I have too many tree huggers. Um, tree hugger um, liners. I use a lot of liners. So all the way up to here is tree hugger. Then I have these three are from C CB Bundles. Um, another eBay seller. And then this is another eBay seller called Mom Stuff. And again, this isn't all of mine. This is a e Etsy seller. It's called like Los Cientos or something. It, I don't know. She's not like Mexican, but she's from Maine. Um, these are... Again, the same seller. These are Scooby-Doo, which are kind of cute. Skull, another skull one. And then here's some liners that I'm actually going to be taking tonight. This is a Terra pad. This is CB Bundles. And this is Ding and Kenny. And then I have only a few because some of them are soiled. These are my um, Ladybug creations. So that's how I organize my pad for now. That's kind of just a preview of my stash. Nothing really too special, but thank you guys again for watching, and I will see you guys later. Bye!